of getting ahead is getting started. A very happy Republic Day to our viewers. We, on behalf of the management, teachers, staff and students of Baldwin Boys High School, welcome you to this virtual 73rd Republic Day celebration. I am Flora Joseph and I have with me Mrs. Sharon Naveen, your host for this morning. 26 January holds a special place in our national memory because it was on this day that free and democratic India was born. The Indian National Congress passed the Purna Swaraj Resolution demanding complete independence from British rule in 1930. 26 January also marks the day on which a constitution came into force in 1950 and we celebrate the establishment of our government. Living in a democratic republic, we have freedom of mind, faith in words, pride in our hearts and patriotism in our souls. So let us salute our nation on its 73rd Republic Day. Let us proudly celebrate the birth of our constitution. We, the citizens of India, pray to God for better days to come for this land. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Prayer is not asking. Prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God at his disposition and listening to his voice in the depth of our hearts. I now call upon the students and teacher of Baldwin Boys High School, Bangalore to invoke God's blessing through an intercessory prayer, Bible reading and followed by the responsive singing. Happy Republic Day to all. Let us pray. Glorious God, on this day as we celebrate our country, 73rd Republic Day, God, bless our country and all its citizens. God, help us to understand the message of liberty, equality and justice. God, help us to practice our right and duties towards our country. Almighty God, we pray for our beloved Prime Minister, the President and all the ministers of the government. God, bless them as they make decisions for the country. Father God, we ask you to bless our school, Baldwin Boys High School. Bless our bishop, our principal, the teachers, non-teaching staff, and all the students and their families. Lord, bless and protect each one of us. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. For the special occasion, scripture reading is taken from Galatians chapter 5, verses 1, 13, and 14. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to yoke or slavery. For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love so one and another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. May the Lord add blessing to this reading and hearing of his word. Swami in the Ah, 
teacher and students for bringing down God's blessings. We are a country of diverse cultures, tradition, languages and religions. Yet we stand as one, having immense pride to cherish, celebrate and salute our great country India. Today as we sit safe inside our homes, we all stand united to Fight this pandemic. Despite such tough times, our most honorable chairman, Bishop Enel Karkare, manager, Reverend Sebastian Ravi Kumar, and principal ma'am, Mrs. Lena Daniel, have gone to great lengths to ensure that the light of knowledge reaches each and every student of Baldwin Boys High School. Their unshakable faith and belief in the potential of each and every student has touched and inspired us to scale new heights under their leadership. It is my privilege to invite our respected manager and beloved principal ma'am to share with us their insights on the occasion of the 73rd Republic Day. What do you mean by Republic? A state in which supreme power is held by the people and their elected representatives and which has an elected or nominated president. It is 26 January today, the historical day to remember our national heroes 
and freedom fighters who suffered, sacrificed to give us a republic nation. Good day to each one of you who has joined us online for Baldwin Boys High School's 73rd Republic Day celebration. On behalf of our Chairman, Bishop N.L. Karkare, Madam Kamal Karkare, Vice Chairman, DS Manager, Reverend Sebastian Ravi Kumar, staff, teaching, non-teaching students, and myself wish each one of you a very happy 73rd Republic Day. Today is a day when the country marks and celebrates the date on which the Constitution of India came into effect on 26 January 1950, replacing the Government of India Act as the governing document of India and thus turning the nation into a newly formed republic. Constitution gave us faith, freedom, peace and pride. So let us value the day it was created. Citizenship consists in the service of the country. In the words of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Constitution is not a mere lawyer's document. It is a vehicle of life and its spirit is always the spirit of age. It is our responsibility to inculcate, remind and teach our young generation that in this land of ours, enriched by diversity with many festivals, our national festivals are celebrated by everyone with great patriotic fervor. We celebrate the National Festival of the Republic Day with enthusiasm and express our respect for the national flag and our faith in the Constitution. Today is the day to reaffirm our commitment to unity in diversity, fraternity and equality among all our citizens. Let us always respect the basic principles and values given to us by our amazing constitution. Let us remind ourselves, beginning from me, that we need to be proud of being an Indian. Always strive to uphold the rich and varied heritage of this great nation. Our India, our pride. My India, my pride. Jai Hind. Thank you. Thank you, sir and ma'am, for your profound and inspiring thoughts. Coming up now to captivate you and fill your hearts with patriotic fervor, the teachers and students of Baldwin Boys High School are right here on your screen with a brilliant performance. Let's welcome them and enjoy their performance. Mrs. Ruxana Begum and Pranit Shekhar of Standard 5H will now present a patriotic song. Thank you. 
है वतन है वतन जाने मन जाने मन जाने मन है वतन है वतन है वतन जाने मन जाने मन जाने मन मेरे मुल्क मेरे देश मेरे वतन शांति का उन्नति का प्यार का चमन Now Alvin P of class 7A will perform an instrumental patriotic song.
freedom of speech means freedom to expression i now call upon rohan rathi of standard 2e to deliver a speech on republic day dear principal teachers and my dear friends on the occasion of republic day let us revisit the first time this day was celebrated on 26 january 1950 india's constitution came into effect and our country became a republic rajendra prasad became our first president on this day in his speech he said Today, for the first time in a long and checkered history, the whole of this vast land, from Kashmir in the north to Cape Comorin in the south, from Kathiawat and Kutch in the west to Kokonara and Kamloop in the east, brought together under the jurisdiction of one constitution and one union, which has taken upon itself the responsibility of the welfare of more than three hundred and twenty. million men and women who inhabit it our constitution declares india a sovereign socialist secular and democratic republic as citizens we enjoy our fundamental rights like the right to equality freedom of speech religion and justice every year the republic day celebrations and parade take place in new delhi it is a reminder of what our beautiful country stands for on this republic day let us again celebrate the true spirit of unity in diversity jai hind india is a song we must sing india is a dream we must realize as this rings in our minds faisal ahmed of standard 5h will present a song Joshua, Shaman, Vishwajit, and Daivik of Seven A will share a few words on our Tiranga. principal teachers staff and all my friends i bring to you some of the facts and information about the national flag of india 
that we all Indians are going to know about. In the year 1916, the Pingali Venkaya, a writer and Indian freedom fighter, designed the red and green color flag which had a ch chakra. However, Mahatma Gandhi suggested that the saffron, white and green be used. When India got her independence, a committee headed by Dr. Rajendra Prasad was told to decide the flag design. They chose the flag which was suggested by Mahatma Gandhi, but replaced the chakra with the Ashoka chakra which is from the lion capital of Ashoka. We all applauded to the hoisting of a flag and also proudly won them on our chest. But how many of us actually know the true significance of the colors in it? Every color on the Indian flag signifies an important part of the Indian tradition, history, vision and culture. Saffron the uppermost color of our flag. Saffron denotes the strength of our country. It stands for our courageous history and the sacrifice of our freedom fighters. Thank you. The white in the middle band of the flag symbolizes the path of truth, honesty and peace that India will take. White also stands for cleanliness and knowledge. Green, the lowermost green band of the flag, denotes the fertility, growth, development and auspiciousness of the land. It symbolizes the value of our land that life is dependent on. Hi dear friends, I am Shamantas from 7th Standard A section. Today I am here to say about the significance of Ashoka Chakra in our national flag. The Dharma Chakra in navy blue in the middle signifies the wheel of law made by the 3rd century Mauryan emperor Ashoka. It shows that there is life in movement and death in stagnation. The flag code of India is a set of laws that govern the display of our flag. While hoisting the Indian flag, the following things should be kept in mind. The flag of India should be made of khadi. During the hoisting, everybody should face the flag and stand at attention. The flag should not touch the ground. No other objects should be placed higher than the flag. The length of the flag is 1.5 times that of its breadth. The flag should be lowered after sunset. Our national flag is our pride. Jai Hind! Thank you. Thank you boys. Well done. Now, Atar Priyanshu of Standard 5D will deliver a speech in our national language, Hindi. You are all My name is Atar Priyanshu and I am in the past few years. I am in the past few years and I am in the past few years and I am in the past few years. Today, we are all here to make a new year for the new year. इस वर्ष हम अपना तिहत्तरवा गणतंत्र दिवस मना रहे हैं प्रत्येक वर्ष छब्बीस जनवरी को मनाया जाने वाला गणतंत्र दिवस भारत के राष्ट्रीय पर्वों में से एक है जिसे प्रत्येक भारतवासी पूरे जोश उत्साह और सम्मान के साथ मनाते हैं आजादी के लगभग दो वर्ष ग्यारह महीने अठारह दिन के बाद छब्बीस जनवरी उन्नीस को भारत के संविधान को भारत के संविधान सभा में पास किया गया था इस घोषणा के बाद से इस दिन को प्रति वर्ष हम भारतवासी गणतंत्र दिवस के रूप से मनाने लगे हर वर्ष गणतंत्र दिवस को हमारे राष्ट्रपति जी दिल्ली के लाल किले में झंडा तोलन करते हैं हर गणतंत्र दिवस को हर एक राज्य अपना अपना झांकी प्रस्तुत करते हैं हम गणतंत्र दिवस से यह शिक्षा प्राप्त करते हैं कि हमें अपने देश के नियमों का पालन करना चाहिए मैं आपको दोबारा अपनी तरफ से गणतंत्र दिवस की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं देना चाहता हूं। जय हिंद जय भारत वी हैव मोहम्मद रजीम ऑफ क्लास नाइन सी टू स्पीक टू अस ऑन रिपब्लिक डे 
सबके अधिकारों का रातक अपना ये गणतंत्र पर्व है लोकतंत्र ही मंत्र हमारा हम सबको ही इस पर गर्व है आदरणीय प्रधानाचार्य महोदया शिक्षक गण एवं मेरे प्रिय सहपाठियों जैसा कि हम सभी जानते हैं कि आज हम अपना तिहत्तरवा गणतंत्र दिवस मना रहे हैं मैं मोहम्मद रजीन अब सभी को गणतंत्र दिवस की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं देता हूं सन 1950 में आज ही के दिन भारत एक गणतंत्र देश बना और भारतीय संविधान लागू किया गया था हमारे देश में गणतंत्र दिवस समारोह के अवसर पर प्रधानमंत्री द्वारा अमर जवान ज्योति पर पुष्प चढ़ाकर देश के वीर सपूतों के बलिदान को याद कर उन्हें श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित की जाती है इस दिन प्रधानमंत्री राष्ट्रपति नेता और देश के नागरिक दिल्ली के इंडिया गेट में हो रहे समारोह को देखने हेतु शामिल होते हैं राष्ट्रपति द्वारा तिरंगा फहराकर समारोह की शुरुआत की जाती है जिसमें देश की तीनों सेनाएं परेड में भाग लेती हैं। देश के विभिन्न राज्यों की झांकियां निकाली जाती हैं, जिसमें कलाकार अपने राज्यों की सुंदरता व कौशलता को दर्शाने हेतु लोकगीत नृत्य व देश के भिन्न भिन्न राज्यों की संस्कृति का प्रदर्शन करते हैं हमारे प्रथम राष्ट्रपति डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद ने कहा था कि हमने एक ही संविधान और संघ में हमारे पूर्ण महान और विशाल देश के अधिकार को पाया है जो देश में रह रहे सभी पुरुषों और महिलाओं के कल्याण की जिम्मेदारी लेता है यह बहुत शर्म की बात है कि आजादी के इतने वर्षों बाद भी हम अपराध भ्रष्टाचार और हिंसा जैसी समस्याओं से लड़ रहे हैं अब समय आ गया है कि हमें दोबारा एक साथ मिलकर अपने देश से इन बुराइयों को बाहर निकाल फेंकना होगा जैसे कि स्वतंत्रता सेनानी नेताओं ने अंग्रेजों को हमारे देश से बाहर निकाल दिया था हमें अपने भारत देश को एक सफल विकसित और स्वच्छ देश बनाना होगा हमें अपने भारत देश की गरीबी बेरोजगारी अशिक्षा ग्लोबल वार्मिंग असमानता आदि जैसी चीजों को अच्छी तरह समझना होगा और इनका हल निकालना होगा अब मैं कविता की इन चार पंक्तियों से अपने शब्दों को विराम देता हूं आओ करे प्रतिज्ञा हम सब इस पावन गणतंत्र दिवस पर हम सब बापू के आदर्शों को अपनाएंगे नया समाज बनाएंगे भारत माता के वीर सपूतों के बलिदानों को हम व्यर्थ न जाने देंगे जाति धर्म के भेदभाव से ऊपर उठकर नया समाज बनाएंगे जय हिंद थैंक यू मोहम्मद रजीन फॉर योर इंस्पायरिंग वर्ड्स नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट अप वी है काविश साहिल अवनंत उद्भव कृष्णा ऑफ क्लास सेवन सी sharing a few facts on republic day republic day is celebrated on january 26th every year to remember the day when constitution of india came into effect india was ruled by the british for over 200 years india gained independence from the rule of british raj after a very long freedom struggle No India got its independence on August 15, 1947. The constitution came into effect on January 26, 1950. This year we will be celebrating its 73rd Republic Day on January 26, 2022. Here are some interesting facts about the Constitution of India. The Constituent Assembly met for the first time in New Delhi on 9 December 1946 in the Constitutional Hall which is now the Central Hall of Parliament House. A drafting committee was appointed for drafting the Constitution of India with Dr. B R Ambedkar as the chairman. The Constituent Assembly took almost 3 years that is 2 years 11 months and 17 days to be precise to complete its historic task of drafting the Constitution for independent India. The constitution was adopted by the Indian Constituent Assembly on 26 November 1949 and came into effect on January 26, 1950. The draft of the constitution 
was submitted to the Indian Constituent Assembly on November 4, 1947. Over the course of 166 days, that was spread over two years, the 308 members of the Assembly met in sessions, which were open to the public and made few updates. Finally, on January 24, 1950, the Assembly members signed two handwritten copies of the Constitution, one in English and one in Hindi. Two days later, on January 26, 1950, history was made. Indian Constitution is the lengthiest written constitution in the world. On the same day, Dr. Rajendra Prasad became the first president of the Indian mm. Union. The Constituent Assembly ceased to exist and became the Parliament of India under the transitional provisions of the new constitution. On January 26, 1929, the Indian National Congress made the famous declaration of Indian independence, also known as Forna Swaraj, as opposed to British rule. January 26th is celebrated to commemorate the Indian Constitution by replacing the Government of India Act of 1935 as the governing document of India. Thank you boys. Finally, we have our National Anthem. Satyam Mishra of Class 6F will lead us. I request all of you to rise to your feet. Thank you. Good morning teachers and friends. This is Satya Mishra from class 6th. Today I am going to sing and play the national anthem on harmonium. Jai Ganavanadina <laughs> 